Higgsfield AI, known for their hyper-realistic AI images and trendy videos, has added several AI lip-sync models to their lineup, including the new Kling Avatar model and the fairly new Infinite Talk AI lip-sync model. I've been playing with those two models and a few others on Higgsfield, the ones that let you use a starting image along with your audio to create a lip-sync video, or maybe you call it a talking photo. Either way, I'll show you some results where I use the same starting image and audio for each example, and then we'll do one together so you can see where everything is and what settings are available for each model. Let's get into it, starting with Infinite Talk, which is an AI lip sync model that's been recommended by several viewers of this channel. My workday is more enjoyable since I outsourced my anxiety to Greg the intern. He's the one that's over by the printer crying. The lip sync looks pretty good and the body language seems fairly natural, but if you look at the guy in the lower right hand corner, you'll notice he's saying everything that our main subject's saying. Seems like he's mocking the boss or something, and it looks like everyone else in the background are statues. <laughs> the secret to my smile, vodka for breakfast, and the absolute certainty that denial is cheaper than therapy. Great job with the lip sync. I don't see any obvious incorrect mouth formations for the sounds being made. It handled the giggle at the beginning okay. The body language is good, even the neck muscles and whatnot. It didn't do much with the background, but I don't think that's a problem for this one. Folks, I made a really big mistake last night. I wasn't paying attention and took a laxative and a sleeping pill at the same time. Oh, what a crappy night's sleep. The lip sync's decent. There were a few word starts there that looked like maybe not exactly how I'd expect his mouth to be, and it didn't do too bad with the groan. I included that to see how each of these models would handle it. The subtle camera zoom and pan was good, and even though it didn't have the raindrop sliding down the window like I wanted, it does have a car pass by outside the window, and I liked that. This next one's a dud. Mostly my fault. Let's take a look and then I'll explain. Welcome back to the most popular game show in prime time. What number am I thinking of? It's time for our final round with prizes up to five dollars. His expressiveness, especially that enthusiasm for the last line, was better than the lip sync. A big problem with this one is that a bunch of people in the audience, mostly on the left side, but a few on the right side too, are being lip synced in addition to our subject. And the applause is weird the way it starts and stops. I probably should have had the audience members in a neutral, relaxed pose, not clapping. But that wouldn't fix the fact that Infinite Talk wanted to lip sync all of the faces in the image. To avoid that, about all I could do is make them so blurry it doesn't see them as faces or not have them in the scene. Or if I really needed this scene, maybe isolate the subject of this image and create the lip sync, then animate just the background people, then try to put it together somehow with some masking in a video editor. Now let's look at what Higgs field calls Kling speak, which is using the new Kling avatar model. My workday is more enjoyable since I outsourced my anxiety to Greg the intern. He's the one that's over by the printer crying. Kling did okay with the lip sync animation, but the guy's lips look a little rubbery or something, and sometimes it seems to make his teeth have really dark outlines or appear separated. And all the people on the right side of the background are being lip synced too. So now not just one guy, but the entire staff is mocking the boss. <laughs> the secret to my smile, vodka for breakfast, and the absolute certainty that denial is cheaper than therapy. Good lip sync, the movements line up with the sounds, but it's got something weird going on with the teeth, like putting too much space or darkness around each tooth. The background animation's nice. Now to make this one more authentic, regardless of which one of these AI lip sync models, probably want to add some ambient outdoor sound and maybe even use a EQ to take out the low end of her voice so it sounds more like she's outdoors and not in a podcast studio. Folks, I made a really big mistake last night. I wasn't paying attention and took a laxative and a sleeping pill at the same time. Ugh, what a crappy night's sleep. In a few spots there, the teeth get weird, not the spacing, but just fuzzy or illustrated. The sinking of the lips worked, as well as his body language and facial expressions. It didn't do so well with the groan, but I kind of expected that. No animation in the background, not even the rain running down the window that I asked for. Welcome back to the most popular game show in prime time. What number am I thinking of? It's time for our final round with prizes up to $5. The sinking of the lips is accurate, but the cartoon teeth and the solid black mouth hole just don't work. In the background, I think it tried to lip sync every face in the audience, and they're doing some weird clapping, or some of them have frozen hands mid-clap. Lesson learned here is having all those people mid-clap made the model want to try and animate that, but more importantly, probably just have one person, one face in the starting image. The next model is Higgsfield Speak 2.0. My workday is more enjoyable since I outsourced my anxiety to Greg the intern. He's the one that's over by the printer crying. 
His lips and teeth get a little fuzzy and warpy a few times. The body language and expressiveness are okay, but not awesome. It animates the guy in the near background and one person in the back left, but it doesn't lip sync him, just the main subject, so that's good. <laughs> the secret to my smile. Vodka for breakfast and the absolute certainty that denial is cheaper than therapy. Something seems off here, and overall it just looks choppy. Now that could be because the Higgsfield Speak lip sync model is 16 frames per second, which doesn't make for smooth animation. It also had an inaccurate mouth formation for a few of those sounds, but then did great with others. Folks, I made a really big mistake last night. I wasn't paying attention and took a laxative and a sleeping pill at the same time. Ugh, what a crappy night's sleep. Right away, his lips look way too flappy. The hand gestures would be cool, but not when his hands morph and melt, and the face he made for the groaning sound wasn't right at all. Also, no movement in the raindrops that are supposed to be running down the window. Welcome back to the most popular game show in prime time. What number am I thinking of? It's time for our final round with prizes up to $5. His mouth is just a mess in this thing. Wrong lip formations, weird teeth, weird lips, and just bad. Hand gestures and body language are good, but the audience, we've got a few faces that are trying to lip sync and the weirdest applause we've seen. Some of these people are only moving one hand, some are clapping without their hands touching, and some seem frozen. But again, not gonna blame the model for this bad starting image on my part. Next up, WAN 2.5 speak. My workday is more enjoyable since I outsourced my anxiety to Greg the intern. He's the one that's over by the printer crying. Here's where I learned that with WAN 2.5 speak, you can't just give it the image and the audio, you have to tell it in the prompt that the subject is speaking. So after adding that to the prompt, My workday is more enjoyable since I outsourced my anxiety to Greg the intern. He's the one that's over by the printer crying. So now we've got our guy talking, but his mouth area is a little blurry and kind of rigid. The way he taps on the tablet while talking about Greg is weird, but I guess the AI figured if the guy was holding the thing, he ought to be doing something with it. The folks in the background move subtly and don't try to talk. That's all good. And a little bonus, it looks like our subject has a wonky eye. One eye looking at us and one pointed over to the side. That's fine. I have a wonky eye too. Maybe the robots are letting me know that they know. No. See in Tanzir hat cold and keep cold. See mints and on yet slight. Of my that was creepy. It totally ignored my uploaded audio and had her saying, I don't know what, in a very unsettling voice, especially when combined with her expressions. But the background noise was nice, I guess. This might have been just a little glitch, and if I had rerun it with everything the same, maybe it would have come out fine. But I'm showing you what I got on the first run. Folks, I made a really big mistake last night. I wasn't paying attention and took a laxative and a sleeping pill at the same time. So this one cut off. My audio is 12 seconds and your choices for WAN 2.5 speak are either 5 seconds or 10 seconds. The lip sync video will be whichever one you pick. So if your audio is shorter, you'll have silent video left over. And if your audio is longer, it'll just cut off the whole thing. Anyway, the lip sync is okayish. Not a fan of him talking through his teeth and it seemed a little stiff. Body language is good and WAN 2.5 does the most with the camera movement and background animation. It got the raindrop running down the window and I have forgot to put that in the prompt for this one. Welcome back to the most popular game show in prime time. What number am I thinking of? It's time for our final round with prizes up to $5. The lip sync isn't great. Seems like Wan doesn't really like to have the speaker's lips really touch each other, and some people kind of talk that way, but it produces a different sound. The camera movement is good, and Wan did the best at animating the background in my poorly constructed scene. It's the least weird audience applause, and it didn't try to lip sync everybody. Now let's look at how to create an AI lip sync video in Higgsfield. Once you're logged in, go up here to the top, hover over video, and then you want to click on lip sync studio. Inside the lip sync studio, all the AI lip sync videos you generate will appear over here on the right, and then to create one, we're over here on the left. The top panel here is a preset, something that Higgsfield uses. If you click on that, across the top there's a tab for each model, so if we click the WAN 2.5 speak tab, these are the motions or presets that are available for the WAN 2.5 speak 
model, and WAN 2.5 Speak and VO3 are the only models that currently have a bunch of these presets available. For the rest, like Kling Speak and all the others, it's just a general preset. For the visual, the person that's going to be doing the talking, I'll just drag and drop an image in there. Then for the audio, you'll have different options here depending on which model you select. For WAN 2.5, the one I have selected right now, you can either type in a script of what you want your character to say, and then if you're uploading audio, you can just drag and drop it right here. Or if you want to generate it on Higgs field, just click in this panel. On the top left, click the voice, and over on the right, you can preview and select the voice that you want. Okay, so basically what our business does, changing the world. Okay, so basically business is about changing the world. Select the one you want to use, then come back over here and type your script, what you want the character to say. Down at the bottom, right next to generate, you have a settings button. You can fiddle with these settings for your text-to-speech. We're just going to hit generate because I'm not going to use this speech. I just want to show you how it works. Once it's generated, it pops up over here on the right. You can click the play to preview it. This is going to get deleted, just using it as a demonstration. If you're happy with it, click on it, and it drops it over here as the audio for this lip sync. That's not what I want to use. I'm going to click the X and get rid of it. And then under the Generate Audio tab, I'll click in this panel again. That'll bring us back in here. This is that text-to-speech that we just generated. If we didn't like it but want to try again, we could just generate. It would pop up over here on the right, and we'd select it to use it in the lip sync. Instead, I'm going to use audio that I already created in Eleven Labs. I'll just drag it in and drop it here in the audio panel. For the prompt on this one, remember, if we're going to use WAN, 2.5, we definitely want to tell it that our character is speaking. I'll just say the reporter speaks directly into the camera. This would also be the spot if you want something specific to happen in the background, or if you want a certain kind of camera motion to go ahead and describe that. Next is the model that's currently set on WAN 2.5, but in Higgs field, they have a total of nine different model options here in the Lip Sync Studio. So now you might be wondering why I didn't show you demos from all nine models. Let me explain. The top two, VO3 and VO3 Fast, they can generate native audio along with the video, but you don't really get to pick the voice that you want to use. You can't upload audio. You can't generate the speech from text and then have it incorporated in the video. You can either give it a script or you can give it an idea of what you want your character to say, and then it'll generate some voice saying what you've asked it to say. WAN 2.5 also offers that native audio option, but like you just saw when we were setting this up, with WAN 2.5, you can also upload your audio that you've created elsewhere or go ahead and generate the text to speech right here in Higgs field and use that. You're not limited to only giving it a script and letting it come up with the voice. Kling Speak, Higgs Field Speak 2.0, and Infinite Talk all allow you to either upload your audio or generate it using text-to-speech here on Higgs Field, and these don't have the option to just give it a script and have the video model generate the audio natively. The last two, Kling Lip Sync, which is the older version of Kling Lip Sync, and Sync Lip Sync 2 Pro, these both require a starting video as the visual. So for this video, I wanted to focus on the models that would use a starting image, and that would allow you to upload your own audio or generate the speech here where you get to pick the voice and generate the audio before you send it off to create the AI lip sync. If you want to see more on the baked in audio, friend and fellow creator Litany of Ignition made a great video testing VO3, Sora 2, and WAN, comparing how they did with scripts versus just giving the models some direction and letting them improv. I'll put a link in the description. It's a fun video, and if you like my stuff, I think you'll love his channel. Let's go ahead and run this one with WAN 2.5 speak. Then our next option is duration. Your options there are 5 or 10 seconds. Looks like our audio is 6 seconds, so we better go with 10. And then for resolution, you got 480, 720, or 1080. This 6 second video at 720 would be 25 credits. If we went to 1080, it would be 40 credits. If you went to 480, I can't imagine doing, it would be 13 credits. We'll go ahead and do 1080 and click generate. While that's running, let's switch up the model. Next, we'll do cling speak. Our starting image is still in there. Our audio is still in there and our prompt is still in there. So if all that's going to stay the same, we just need to select a quality option, either Pro 1080p at 48 frames per second or Standard, which is 720p, 24 frames per second. We're going to stick with Pro and we'll hit Generate on that one. Back here to the model selection. This time we'll do Higgs Field Speak. We'll stick with the same starting image, the same audio. The prompt looks good. For the quality, your options are High or Basic. We're going to 
plastic with high. And we'll click generate on that. Back to the model selection, we'll switch over to infinite talk. And here's a good place to point out that infinite talk, Higgs field speak, and cling speak are all 15 second max durations. WAN 2.5 speak is a 10 second max duration. Again, our image and audio are already there. We'll use the same prompt. And for quality, we're gonna stick with high and generate. This is our WAN 2.5 generation. If you wanna see the settings, you can look at those over here just to the right of the video, click where it says settings. It'll show you the model, the resolution, and the duration. Up top here, it shows us the prompt that was used, and that's not the prompt we type. For WAN 2.5, it went ahead and automatically enhanced that prompt. We can see what we typed in for the other models. The reporter speaks directly into the camera, and for WAN 2.5, it added a whole lot of detail in there. And here's how it came out. Coming up, officials say the power outage could last for days, unless someone jiggles the right cable sooner. Now, I didn't pick up on the ambient sounds of the city that the prompt asked for, but that's okay. I didn't really want those. The zoom in and out was kind of weird. If I wanted to run that again and try not to get that zoom in, zoom out thing, I could say something in the prompt like fixed camera, or since this was WAN 2.5, I could click this preset deal up here and select the static camera motion. Here's our reporter lip sync from Kling Speak. Coming up, officials say the power outage could last for days, unless someone jiggles the right cable sooner. And Higgsfield Speak 2.0. Coming up, officials say the power outage could last for days, unless someone jiggles the right cable sooner. Ooh, there was a whole lot of extra moving and flapping and jerkiness there. Let's see what Infinite Talk did. Coming up, officials say the power outage could last for days, unless someone jiggles the right cable sooner. I like how she got her hands in on the conversation and Infinite Talk is usually a strong model, but for this one, I think Kling Speak might have done the best job. Coming up, officials say the power outage could last for days unless someone jiggles the right cable sooner. To use the Lip Sync Studio in Higgsfield, you'll need the Pro plan or higher. Pro is $29 a month or $17.40 a month if you pay annually. That includes 600 credits a month, and for reference, a 10 second lip sync using the Infinite Talk model on Higgsfield runs 133 credits. And at the cheaper end, the Kling Speak model set on Pro mode is 23 credits for a 10 second lip sync. Now, in addition to the AI lip sync tools in their Lip Sync Studio, Higgsfield has lots of other tools and templates for AI image and video creation. I'll leave a link to Higgsfield in the description if you want to check it out. Now you can also find most of these models on other AI generation platforms. Infinite Talk is open source, so you could run that locally if you have the skills and the hardware. The Kling avatar model, which Higgsfield labels Kling Speak, of course that's available on the Kling platform, but not in the free plan and not in the standard paid tier, only in the pro subscription or above. That's all for our comparison of AI lip sync models on Higgsfield. My name is Bob. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you'll come back and join me for another video.